Good morning, everyone. My name is Dr. Vishal Mayani. I'm working as an associate professor at Department of Chemistry, Marwad University. Today, my topic on selection of research theme. In other, in other words, you can say defining a research problem or topic to do a research. How, how we can select the research problem and we can do our research or have a PhD degree or we can have a project. So how we can choose the research topic. So it is fully based on the selection of the research topic and it's the basic one. So it is general, not related with the subject. So as I belongs to the chemistry department, so I will give a little bit example of the chemistry related research schemes, but it's overall a general presentation about the research theme selection. As we have more than 375 registered participants and more than 60 subscribers. So it is from all over the India and few registrations are from the international students. So I will give my presentation in both the language English and little bit I will explain in Hindi as well. So it will be better for the students to understand the subject very well. So what it contains? It contains introduction, introduction of research means what kind of introduction, introduction of research, introduction of research problems, what kind of research problems and their introduction. Second is the identification of the research problems, how to identify the research problem, what are the ways we can easily identify research problems and research topic, we want to do a research on that particular topic. So what are the ways? So it will include that ways. What are the sources? Sources of research problems. So what are the available sources in the market or environment or nature or in our day to day life or society demands? So all the sources will go through the all the sources. Like uh, in periodic table, there are several elements. So all the elements like gold, silver, thorium, all the uranium, they have the sources in the particular area. Like same, research problem also have the sources and its way. There is a certain sources, from that sources we can easily get the idea for the research. The next one is the criteria for the selecting of the research. Means criteria, what are the rules we will follow? We will follow the rules to select the research problem. So what are the criteria to find the research problem? It's a basically a rule book. If we follow that rules, we can easily find a potential research topic to do our research. And as I said, I belong to a chemistry background. So I will give the recent chemistry research topics. What are the burning and recent society needed applicable research topics and people can do because there are many aspirant students who want to pursue the research, research career. You want to do a PhD after his master course. Also, it's useful for them to understand how we can find the research topic and what are the relevant research topics available and how, how we can utilize that one. And after finding the research problems, the formulation of research problem and its process. Like once the research problem is identified, we found the research problem. Then the next step is how we can design a research problem or its process. So it's the next step after identification of the research problem and it is a complete year by year research planning. So first year we will do, first six months we will do literature survey, second six months we will do chemical or availability and all kind of data collection and from then we will start a research synthesis then characterization and analysis, evaluation and writing paper or report. So it's a basically year wise plan. So it comes in the formulation of research problem and process. And the last, it is a conclusion. So conclusion of the presentation, what we have learned, go through the entire slides. So next is introduction. What is introduction? Introduction means introduction of research problem. So first it comes with the definition. Definition of research problem. What is research problem? Means research is not like a scientific research scientists are doing in the laboratory or some kind of drug preparation. In our day to day, day life also we can do a research like something is like having talking long time route 
or some like innovative ways we can make a so we can reduce the time we can reduce the energy so we can our day to day routine life also some works like time consuming cost cost effective so this way we can do research in our day to day life also. so this is particularly basically what is research problem research problem means is a question research problem is a question and researcher want to solve scientific it by scientific method so basically research problem is a question and we do not have a answer for that particular question and by doing a research in a systematic and a scientific way we can easily identify the answer for that particular question so research problem is basically a question and we need the answer for that and so this is the definition of research problem just is like a we have a problem and we don't know the answer so we have to find the answer so how we can find the answer so this this is the basic definition of research problem in the next step after the definition the first step is the identification of the research problem is the first step to do a research because if you want to do a research but in what area you want to do research because there are several areas are available several problems are available what is your interest what and what is your specialty because if you are from biology so you will choose the biological research area if you are belongs to chemistry some belongs to management some belongs to a computer department so they will choose a software making or application making based research because there are several problems and you can easily make an application and you can solve that problem by using that application like there are several applications are designed so basically in what area you want to work so you have to identify the research problem so first thing is the in the process of research is identification of the research problem so research problem what is research problem research problem is again an area of concern and there is a gap in the knowledge so we know there is a certain areas are there we have a knowledge also but there is a gap in the knowledge and it's need a professional practice to connect the dots we know this is like a there is a two sea source are there and we want to make a bridge between that two sea source so it's like we know is idea is there we can make a bridge between these two so like a sea link bridge but how we can make this bridge because then we have to study we have to do research we have to see the sea flow sea water flow how deep the sea water is what is the uh, how we can hold the cement or concrete in between the sea so we have to do a several research what is the tide ratio how much tides and what is the pressure of water so we have to consider everything so we know the no we have the knowledge but knowledge is incomplete there is a gap between the knowledge so by a continuous of process like professional practice by day to day study literature study we can have an idea and we can connect that dots by making a particular research so research is basically a knowledge and there is a knowledge gap is there and researcher must have to connect the dots by doing a professional and scientific practice and they can easily can find an answer so the desired result finding will provide the answer to the question and fill the gaps once you find the answer of making the bridge as you see in the picture like once you have an idea how to make a how to make a answer for that particular problem so desired research findings means desired research results will provide you the answer and it will fulfill your questions or fulfill your desire and fill the gaps between the knowledge so this is basically a introduction of research and research problem now the next is the identification of the research problem okay we know what is research what is research problem and the first step is the identification of the research so suppose i want to do a research so i i am looking for a area or topic i want to pursue my research so how will i will identify so first identification research there is a systematic process how we can find the research problem is there any scientific way to identify the research is there any scientific methods we can easily identify the research the answer is yes normally a broad area first the broad area is selected very big area is selected and then out of that broad area we concluded to 
broad topics we delimit that broad area and make a small topic out of the that broad area broad first the broad area is selected and then a broad topic is delimited out of it and then we make a specific one sentence of the problem so i can give you an example how this broad area then broad topic delimitation and special sentence making suppose it is like a finding an suppose it is like a finding an unknown address in rajkot city if you want to find an unknown address in the rajkot city so rajkot city is like a broad area you cannot find easily so this is the finding area is a broad area then now we delimited it certain roads that broad area is delimited certain roads like kala road 150 feet road so that we delimited the rajkot city to delimited topic area to the certain roads we have to find the address then specific area we will go to the specific particular sentence like go to the some street or society so you can easily find the address of any particular unknown person by choosing this scientific method broad area then broad topic and and broad one sentence one line sentence so research also follow the similar methodology scientific research also follow the similar methodology like suppose currently like covid 19 pandemic condition is going on and everyone is searching for the medicine or vaccine for the covid 19 but so suppose covid 19 is the broad area because there are like broad area we have to find the medicine of the covid 19 disease so how we can find this covid 19 disease and its vaccination is the broad area then we have to do a literature survey what kind of drug like hydrochloroquine hydrochloroquine and other other medi remdesivir also working very well or giving a potential activity so these two drugs are like giving very good activity so this is a delimited to the broad topic now we will go to what are the functional group what is the number of aromatic ring or active groups then we can make one sentence out of it that that this particular functional group is giving very good activity for that particular covid 19 disease so basically a day to day literature survey basically a day to day literature study or survey will give i will give you a good source of idea if you read books literature or some kind of report you will have a good idea about that particular research problem if you study about covid 19 so you several literature so you will definitely have an idea what are the useful or potential drug, drug what are the special chemicals we can utilize and we can solve this problem or make a research problem and finally the next step is the after finding a research problem or identification the next step is the doing research in the laboratory because finding problem is very easy or making sentence is easy but doing like performing research or performing that particular synthesis in the laboratory is the considerable most difficult challenging and long term process once you identify the problem and doing the same problem in the laboratory and synthesize the chemical or drug in the laboratory or in the like is a not for chemical but in the all field of research whether it is biological research physical research or any computer or engineering research it laboratory work is most difficult challenging and long term process so basically this is the process of identification how we can identify so this basically identification first we have to choose, select the broad area then broad topic and delimited to, to, to one sentence this is the scientific way so next is the sources of research problem to identify the research problem how we can identify what are the sources because if you go on the road or if you are moving around the city you will find several problems around you so you have to think you have to use your mind and you have to think about how we can solve those problems by using my chemical or biological or chem computer skills and we can easily solve that problem so this is basically a research and this is like social issues like if you see see in the social issue in the cities you can easily find several problems and you can utilize your skill because if i am belongs to a computer uh, computer science department i cannot solve the chemistry problems so i have to choose my computer knowledge 
to solve that problem what is occurring in the city and this can be a potential research problems nowadays because it's like in applied field earlier people used to do a conventional research like somebody have to make the paracetamol drug after 5 years the student of the same supervisor will make a paracetamol with other method so this is a conventional method one people already have done and we will do little modification or manipulation and we will make a another phd thesis or research proposal this is not a right way because that's why we are behind, far behind compared to well developed countries like if you see korea japan china germany usa they all are doing the applied research application based research and still we are doing a conventional research like somebody already have made like one paracetamol so we will make the same paracetamol with higher yield and conversion and higher productivity so this is not a like if you will do applied research the country is like economy will grow so that's why the highly developed countries are having lot of appliances like if you take the example of korea they all the home appliances they are supplying suppose they are supplying mobiles home appliances led tvs so all are like if you led tvs they are making their use of chemicals and all so everywhere the use of chemical is there so they are making the many things like they are not working conventionally they are using the applied work whatever the machinery or research is applicable to the society industry and nature that they are making they are not making conventional research so this is the way we can if you choose the applied field you can have more potential research and there are more taker of that research so first is the sources like what are the sources so sources is combination of sources you can choose any of how these sources and you can identify the research problem so first is the exposure to the field situation if you are working in some pharmaceutical company and you have like exposure to that particular pharmaceutical company so you are working in that field so you have knowledge of all how they make medicine how they made medicine works what are the calibration way how we can calibrate it how we can do a clinical trial so you know everything so if you are in the field of field exposure of research so you have variety of idea and you know what are the like limitation of that process so by using your mind and skill you can re remove that limitation and you can give a new theory or new research topic or new idea for that particular problem so if you have a exposure to the field you can have really a definitely a good idea for the research like if you working the laboratory you are working the water purification plants your observation it will help to formulate the research problem so keep observing and be a student always be a student in your life so you can have a great idea and you can have a great understanding of subject second is the consultation with the expert because if you are a students and you are good at study but you do not have an idea about the research problem then take the advisor of your supervisor phd supervisor or field expert and field expert have the sound knowledge of that particular topics or area because he is the expert of that particular field so he has sound knowledge of that particular area and he will definitely suggest to you great idea for research problem third is the personal experience or practical experience as it is similar to the field exposure but it is more detailed that field exposure is the overall exposure and personal experience you are experience you are doing the research or you are doing a practical experiment it will really help you it associate with the research and it is your day to day personal experience which will help you to find the research problem this experience is rich source of idea because it's your personal experience so it is very rich in the ideas for finding a research problem and the next is the literature survey literature survey or existence theory if you study a literature survey or some existing theories are available this is basic of research if you don't know anything about these sources the basic thing is the literature go to the literature and you will definitely have an idea so reading a books articles interested reports because this is related with your interest if you are interested then only you will read 
so that is interested report it will strike readers mind it will strike your mind and it will suggest it will suggest you there is some leg how you can do additional research on that area so once you read start reading the books or articles it will strike your mind and you will think oh there is certain limitation why this is not happening why what's the problem and you will find oh i can do here some modification or additional research and you can find a new discovery so this way you can give a new discovery the next is the social issue like social issues like as i told you give the example social issues plays an important role for the research formulation social issue what is happening around you it's a key role in nowadays all people are doing research in that area what is around you what is around your happening around your society your nature your country the world and that they are doing research accordingly so social issue is the key role for doing research like as i gave, gave you the example of covid 19 covid 19 given birth to several research because this pandemic pandemic have given the given the birth to several research ideas and business nowadays you can see several online business are available several application are generated people are making several how simple and cheap price ventilators there everybody knows how to make a hand wash or senti sensitizer sanitizers so you can easily make the sanitizer hand wash at your home so it's like a give new mask you can make a mask method no need to buy a mask you can use like home made mask mask ppe kits like personal pr- protection equipment because everybody is making earlier we are dependent on everything we are dependent on the foreign countries now people are making here itself because this pandemic condition give us a chance to explore our knowledge and how we can make the materials by using our own sources and own thoughts so people are making mass testing kits innovation innovative way of delivery system like somebody is delivering the milk by the pipeline so there are several innovative ways we find out in this pandemic condition and it's like new normal now this become a new normal and we can we find the several ways the next is the brainstorming brainstorming is a exercise for good for find a questions brainstorming is what is brainstorming it's basically a group dis- discussion with the like minded people if you are some five chemistry people sit together and they discuss the topic certain topics so with extensive discussion they can easily find a good research topic so these are basically all our topic and by combining all the sources of research problem you can definitely find a idea or identify the research problem you can definitely have an idea so these are the scientific sources you can utilize it and you can have an idea for the finding a research problem okay after the sources first was the identification next was the sources third is the criteria what are the criteria we have to follow to find a research problem criteria means rules what are the niyam hame kaun se niyam follow karne hai matlab hame koi bhi suppose we cannot do a conventional research somebody already have done kisi ne kaam kar liya hai to usi particular topic mein thoda sa hum changes karke usko naya sa banaye to wo research nahi hai वो मतलब इथिकल नहीं है उसका कोई नैतिकता नहीं है तो मीन्स वी हैव टू डू अ रिसर्च विथ विच फॉलो सर्टेन साइंटिफिक रूल्स सो व्हाट आर द रूल्स इट कम्स इन द क्राइटेरिया सो फर्स्ट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ रिसर्च एंड मोटिवेशन सो व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ रिसर्च रिसर्च मस्ट बी मीनिंगफुल इट शुड बी एप्लीकेबल एंड इट शुड हैव सर्टेन टेक्निकल सेंस इफ रिसर्च इज मीनिंगलेस if you are doing something and there is no use no application or no meaning then there is no need of doing that research so research must be meaningful it have some kind of technical sense and above all it must have certain applicability it should be applicable somewhere the next is motivation like who motivates you how what motivates you to do a research some motivation is required somebody have some like some students motiv- motivated by some spiritual gurus some some students are motivated by professors some 
students are motivated by scientists some motivated by the stars so motivation everything requires some motivation so research also requires some motivation what motivates you and why you want to do that research so why we are doing the motivation what motivates you so sometimes the uh, students researchers it desire to get a phd degree that motivates they want a phd degree that's why they are doing research for benefits of the degree degree and further benefit so that motivates you in some people desire to face challenges to solve the problem some people motivation is they like the challenges they want to face the challenges and they want to solve the problem so they motivate them some in intellectual people so they have the joy of doing they have they enjoying research so intellectual proper like albert einstein and several scientists more they are working day and night some months they don't go home they work overnight so that intellectual people they are everywhere in india like abdul kalam so they they have their intellectual people they have joy of doing research they are enjoying their research so they the enjoyment and interest is there it motivates you and it will give you very good result so motivation is very important and somebody like to serve the society or nation so some student or researcher they like i want to give something something to the society or nature or to the world and i want to gain the respect so somebody want to serve the nation and want to do something to for the betterment of the society industry or nature so that motivates some serving they want to serve seva so this are the motivation for the research what are the objectives of the research okay we know the meaning we know the what is the motivation behind it some objectives what are the useful significance ness importance why we are doing objective means why there is everything have the objective why we are doing what is the need so that object it comes in the objective parameter the first objective was the understand the phenomena hum kuch cheez samajhna chahte hain we want to understand that particular thing so that's why we are doing to understanding what is covid 19 so there is a interest like why so we have to understand what is covid 19 what is the full name of the covid 19 virus why there is 19 behind it so this is like objective what are the we want to learn the understanding unknown thing this is objective first objective is understanding unknown things we want to understand that unknown thing that is the research topic we want to know and this is the objective and th- other objective you can say like achieve a new sights or vision i want to achieve a new things new discovery or new ideas these are the objectives the next is the significance of research after objective significance means important how important the research is is it important it is applicable if there is no important there is no need to do that one so significance is the important this research is particularly important for the industry economy it it is the demand of the society good demand goods demand and supply chain if because it's a need of the society then it is important we can help to the society it is important for the industry so we can do a industrial research like finding a medicine or finding a pharmaceutical drug it is helping the economies then we have to do that research it is good for demand and demand and supply chain then we have to do that research so these are the significant necessity it is the necessity zarurat hai abhi society ki then we have to do because necessity of mother of all invention so if it is necessary we have to do the research like necessity gives the birth to the all new invention next is the originality research must be original it should not be a fake or modification of the some little modification of some other people research it is not a applicable so research must be original and it will be a part of livelihood as well research must be always original and it should not be a copy of others work it should not be a copy of others work and it should not be a small modification it should be original not a copy ethics ethics means naitikta what is some principle moral principle we have to follow certain principle like we will principle means it should be original work correct data we will collect all the correct data we will not include the fake data 
we will not do manipulation we will not do a addition or some kind of cheating and we will not do a fake study so we have to follow certain moral principle to do our research then we will get a good result good quality result and we can get a good respect but if you do a fake research sometimes you will be caught and all the respect you have gained it will be gone so you have to follow certain moral ethics next is the feasibility feasibility means possibility once you choose the research problem whether it is possible feasible feasible in the sense not feasible because all as i told you nothing is impossible but feasibility is in the sense of availability availability of chemicals availability of facilities availability of equipments availability of project budget or research funding availability of analysis instruments so it refers to that availability of time because some research are like suppose taking 10 years so this is not feasible right if it is take 10 years so no need to waste time it should be completed within a time period so feasibility comes in the with the certain parameters next is the interesting what is the interesting thing means if research is interesting then only you can do if it is not interesting after some times you will be bored and you will leave that do research you will stop doing that research and you will try to find a new research problem so research must be always interesting if it is not interesting it will you will definitely change after some time so this interesting next is the relevant and applicable relevant means relevant means it is related to the current situation current demand and applicability if it is not relevant suppose we are finding a medicine now for like malaria or something old disease which disease already vaccination is available and people have the vaccination of all disease and if we do research for that particular disease then there is no relevancy it should be relevant with the current situation and current demand if somebody have already done and there is no just you are doing for the phd degree and you are doing the some uh, vaccination is already developed and we, you want to do research on that particular then there is no need for that particular research it is only for the degree purpose and this not you can say it's relevant relevant means it should be good or applicable and relevant to the current situation good research must be based on the current demand or need of the society and it is suitable in the current scenario and it should be applicable to the world so it's overall it should be applicable and relevant to the current scenario and next is the time cost equipment and supply sorry all the research must complete in the less time it should not be a time consuming it should be economical and it should be complete in your budget it should should be not very expensive and you have to also consider the availability of experiment equipment chemicals material supply whether it is available and we can do if it takes like some chemicals you have to export from import from other countries and it will take 3 4 years or it's a longer period it take time then there is no need to do that research or if we analysis take time for one year of that particular things then it's no need so you have to calculate the availability of all the thing and the very important thing is the research funding if you want to do a quality research then quality research requires high research fund or budget for fact finding if you want to do a very novel or quality research you need a good research fund if there is no fund available you cannot do a good research so basically a good research is a systematic and logical good research is always a systematic and it requires a logical method as you can see in the picture and what are the types of research it's additional i want to mention mention what are the types of research there are there are several types of research like descriptive research like writing essay on certain kind of that kind of research analytical research descriptive and anal analytical descriptive means like long essay making or analytical means finding certain thing is available and you have to analyze that particular things with new way one is applied research applied applicable for the some kind certain kind of industry society or world 
or nature and one is the fundamental research is a basic research like acid based catalysis or some kind of basic things that also we have to carry forward and we have to we have to make a ratio 30% basic and 70% applicable research so we can serve the society third is qualitative research and quantitative research because certain area you need a very good quality there is no impurity high quality chiral compounds so there are the qualitative research you need a quality of that particular material and some research are bulk research like cement industry ceramic refractic industry they are doing the research in the bulk amount because they need a bulk things so this is well quantitative research they need a quantity one is the conceptual research theory based research some concept are available and you do a research on that particular concept one is the empirical research that is based basically based on the experiment so these are the various types of research the next is the relevance chemistry research topic what are the relevant chemistry because as, as i told you i belongs to a chemistry background so i give you the few, few example of what are the trending or burning areas we can do a research in the chemical area so one is the pharmaceutical industry pharmaceutical industry is emerging area and trending still is the top number one research area in the chemical industry and as you see in the now covid 19 condition many industry or pharma industry are working for the vaccination of the covid 19 medicine so this is the emerging area and effective drug discovery for the old and new diseases pharma industries are doing well and there is a very good research area to find a research topic next is the petrochemical industry petrochemical also big industry and it have a large share large share in the total overall industry is there and in that all industry petroleum industry have the larger share and it is very competitive industry most of the plastic rubber solvents fertilizer additive explosive pharmaceuticals are basically from the petrochemical industry but now the world is moving to the renewable energy like water from they want to wind energy like energy consumption from hydrogen gas capturing so they are going for the solar energy solar cell they are making by the chemical method so people uh, world is going for the renewable energy so now there is a very good scope for the petroleum energy because then their petroleum products will be remain untouched unused so there is a lots of we have lots of resources for the petroleums so what we can do that to the resources so we can make the petroleum to chemical this is a big research area next is the applied material this is very relevant to the today's generation whatever the applicable material to the society and nature people are doing that research and that research is now contributed to the 50% research of the world and it compares like most of the nobel prize received in this area nano drug discovery nano technology nano materials these are the applied materials because as i told you japan korea germany us and china they are doing very good research so they are exporting lots of things and they are generating lots of revenue from all over the world and they are making lots of and they are making lots of money and making their country's economy very high so this are the applicable material not conventional material new materials you can say fuel you can use a fuel plastic material paint material household material skin care material and aerospace material these all are comes under the applied material the next is the sustainable and eco friendly material sustainable means solid takao and it's like recyclable and reusable materials we can use several times by washing the catalyst we can use in another catalytic cycle so this recyclable reusable materials and there is a demand of certain sustainable material and eco friendly means we are not making a pollution pollution free material green material less pollution material and processes this comes under the sustainable material next is the waste treatment and environment protection because nowadays we are wasting lots of plastic material food waste we are doing industrial waste like ceramic industry dye industry color industry they are polluting the water so contaminated water soil 
and air protection is uh, one of the richest area for doing the research and now many many laboratories are available they are doing research on the waste treatment and environment protection and you can do generate lots of revenue and you can serve the nation also you can serve the society also next is the renewable energy as i told you people world is going for the renewable energy sustainable modified hybrid material for the storage of oxygen gas hydrogen gas ethylene gas nitrogen gas carbon dioxide gas solar energy wind energy this comes under the renewable energy and storage you can store the carbon dioxide from the environment and you can release near the tree so the tree will grow you can capture the oxygen gas from the environment and you can supply it to the hospitals if you fruit you are transporting the fruit because fruit release the ethylene gas so you can design some material it adds up the ethylene gas so it will protect the fruit from during the transportation and you can keep the fruit for the longer time so these are the several ways like healthcare and the cosmetic products because in the this pandemic condition people are become more health conscious people want to live long and live healthy so they are staying at home so like world have changed now people are like very well health conscious in the world now and india also now very health conscious so there is a big business possible for the health supplements skin care skin care cosmetic products so there is a big business for that also so you can do a research and you can have a good good research topic next is the social nature beneficiary chemical research like you can see as i told you see around your city or country and you will find lots of problem in the river roads drainage system industrial problem pollution water quality so you have to see the need or demand of the society and what you can utilize or your ideas and you can have a research problem and its solution so environment protection waste treatment so you can have a several ideas so these are the basically a relevant topics the next once you find the relevant topics or broad area how we can formulate the research problem so you, as i told you now you have an idea like first the introduction and then the identification of problem once you identify what are the sources you are utilizing what are the relevant areas you know so after finding that and you know the what are the criteria to follow so you basically find and selected a broad research area so once you have selected the broad research area then out of suppose i can give the example covid 19 to find a medicine for covid 19 is a broad research area so after finding that broad research area you have to do a literature survey so you that broad research area will small it will after certain literature survey it will be comprised to like broad topic out of broad area you can select the broad topic after several literature survey so literature so it is it will delimited to a broad research topic so once you have delimited the broad research topic again you do some specialized specific study of functional group or very close or near a study that is particular the specific to that particular topic then you can easily identify the research problem and you can finally make a research statement like i have to do something like finding a disease so i will give the example of the covid 19 so this is the i selection of the research area like research area is preparation of vaccine for covid 19 is a broad research area like preparation of vaccine for covid 19 disease now so you to understand what is covid 19 so it's basically a sars covid 19 so acute respiratory syndrome corona virus so if you study that you will have an idea like first you have to study with his full form from where it's originated then later you will find what are the available medicine for that so if you see the now the current medicine studies like most of the things they are saying about the hydrochloroquine medicine remdesivir medicine so these are the available medicine now and it says they are effective so so we have to study by literature survey of these two medicines so you will find that these two medicines have the functional group amino group is there hydroxyl group is there heterocyclic ring is present 
and chiral centers are there. So these are the literature survey. Out of broad area, now you know these two medicines, these are the functional group. So it will give the really, it will give certain like basic idea. Now the broad area is changed to the two medicine and the two func four functional group like hydroxyl group, amino group, heterocyclic and chiral center. Now again you study that particular functional group, what is the application, more detail and specific study, then you can delimit it to the like how many number of how many number of heterocyclic ring is required, how many numbers of functional group is required, how many hydroxyl functional group required, how many amino group functional group required, what is the structure design you can make and how many chiral centers you require in that particular drug. So on the basis of that you make a several structure and you can I, you can say okay we can do research on that particular structure and we will find a research. So that is delimited to the particular structure. Then now you can make a research statement and that now you can make a research st statement after evaluating that particular data like collecting all the data. Then you can say now make a sentence and it would be like this. Synthesis of chiral amino alcohol based heterocyclic derivatives for COVID-19 disease. So earlier it was like preparation of COVID-19 vaccine. It is, was a broad area. After several study, now what, what we got the sentence as a research problem. The synthesis of chiral amino alcohol based heterocyclic derivatives for COVID-19. So this way you can make a research problem and start working on it. So this is basically a diagram how we can do. So now we will go for the after finding the research problem. Now we will go to the how to do a research process. So research process once you find the problem now you have to go for the research problem. So this is a research flow chart how we can do first the define the research problem. Once you define means make a I, as I told you synthesis of COVID-19 medicine and then we have concluded to the amino alcohol derivative. So this you make a one sentence for that research and then you have to study that particular literature survey. The specific detailed study and what are the important facts you can find is basically a fact finding exercise and more detail what are the temperature, what are the pressure, what are the parameters. You can find a detailed study of hydroquinoquine, quinoline or remdesivir medicine process. You can utilize same process or modify that process. Then you have to make a hypothesis of the particular hypothesis means parikalpana. You have to make a some kind of essay out of it. Niband likna hai essay. You have to make a essay out of it. It is one kind of hypothesis essay. After making the hypothesis essay, you have to design. You have to design the process. First, I will make this compound. This, this are the process reaction scheme you have to make. So this is basically a making a reaction scheme then after collecting the data what are the data characterizations in data you have to collect the data you have to analyze and interpret and make a report so first we will go for the desire define a research problem so what is define a research problem as i told you synthesis of chiral amino alcohol based heterocyclic derivative for covid so this we found the research problem now we will do a research literature survey for fact finding we will study several process, what are the com active compounds, what are the raw materials, what are the techniques they are using. So this all comes under the literature survey. Then we will make a descriptive essay in the hypothesis, in the thar parikalpana and it, it says the descriptive essay, theory writing, we is basically theory writing and total data, what are the data we have got from the literature, we will collect it. After collecting it, we will make a design research project. Or process how we can design we will design a scheme from benzaldehyde to benzoic acid and what is the temperature what is the pressure what are the reaction condition what are the catalyst what are the additive what are the solvent so basically we will make a research structure and research scheme what are the chemical condition what are our skills and execution of research process means we will execute we will do a synthesis process we will characterize the final product, we will analyze the product, whether product is form or not. We will check this process and its method and we make a drug like new drug for COVID-19 and we will do a clinical trial also, whether it is working for the coronavirus disease or not. 
after that we will collect all the data and after collecting the data we will prepare certain graphs graphics or we will um, like analyze the data discuss the data and whether it is useful or not we will complete list it is basically data interpretation of the data and analysis how we can interpret the data once it is interpreted then we will make a report we will make the after interpretation we will report whether it's drug is important for the covid 19 or not so if you will get the desired result desired re result and it match with the, our hypothesis or research problem the process research project is successful we can say okay it is successful we got the desirable result and it match with the, our hypothesis if it is not matching with our hypothesis and it is not even giving any result then again go back to the fast forward or feedback and go to the first step and again do new research or new drug design and you have to do the same follow if you fail you have to do this experiment several times you can directly go to the third step and again you can go you have to go sometimes first step you can go further like this fourth step it depends where you stop and where you are not getting result and later you can go for the if it is successful your research is successful this data i have taken from the one of the very good book of research methodology from author is the cr kothari and it is an indian publisher so what research research scientists or some authors say about research what they quotes so as our missile man apj abdul kalam the missile man of india says you cannot change your future it's all about the research you cannot change your future but you can change your habit and if you change your habit it will definitely change your future one another scientist like german scientist albert einstein what he says if we knew what we are doing it is not called a research if you knew something and we, we are doing that there is no research research must be something new and it should be innovative or applicable and one is the first woman nobel prize winner that is scientist mary curie what she says this is a, there are several mary curie fellowships also available she is the first woman scientist who got the nobel prize she says be less curious about people less curious about people and more curious about the ideas and one of the american author robert hanklin said everything is theoretically impossible until it's done so everything you think theoretically is impossible once you done it it is basically become possible so one of the well known one of the well known scientists stereochemistry scientist and my supervisor from the csir he used to tell researcher job start from the sweeper to scientist sweeper means the cleaning the floor and scientists who are doing the hard work or sophisticated work so researcher job start from the sweeper to scientist so what researchers do they cleaning the glass where they cleaning the desk carry the chemicals wearing a dirty apron handling the hazardous chemical doing the laborious work so this is like work is like low level is a sweeper job like is a like sweeper job and same time the same researcher who is doing the sophisticated synthesis in the sophisticated laboratory handling the sophisticated very expensive instruments and writing a paper or publication and doing a very sophisticated scientist work so researcher's work is like a from sweeper to scientist he is doing all kind of work and this way you can achieve the higher research and now the conclusion so after going through all the criteria now we will say what is defining a research problem so re research problem must be a logical it should be a logical and it must be a systematic it should be there is no like randomness it must be a systematic it must be a relevant to the literature survey L literature survey is a key for the research problem finding if you do more research survey day to day life study it will really give a good research problem thinking and rethinking process also gives some more specific desirable research if you think and again think rethink rethink and several thinking 
channel or chain it will give a more specific formulation for the research problem so this way you can easily identify the research problem so these are the several ways to doing a research the next is the research is concerned with the proper fact finding research is concerned with proper fact finding if you find you have find want to proper fact finding and evaluation process so it is completely a long continuous process fact finding analysis and evaluation it is a journey you can say in another words journey from unknown to known world it is a complete journey from unknown to known world so it's over for now and this is our beautiful campus marwadi university campus and this picture of our national indian student and the international student of the marwadi university graduation course and the present thank you very much for your kind attention and session is open for question and answers please you write your queries in the comment box and i will answer it thank you very much okay i will go through the comments and i will try to answer the queries one jevin tumar is asking who can give the funding actually funding sometimes university is giving the fundings some university have their own funding sometimes csir is giving some national agencies like dst csir isc everyone sometimes international funding also available it depends on the professor on university and your caliber and it depends if you have like higher research experience you can easily get the funding it basically depends on the your supervisor not for the researcher researcher have to work if the supervisor have the funding or big project some industry also gives the funding so you can do research jayant humor also asking that they have the great ideas but he do not have the proper platform or funding yeah so first you have to find a proper platform if you some you are from master course so you have to give the net or gate examination or some you can join the csir or iit laboratories they have very good funding and infrastructure and very good platform you can get and you can perform or pursue your research when bhavin daduk is asking what we will do if we have not yielded during research so as i told you it is a continuous process and it's a long process is difficult time consuming sometimes you fail as i can give you example when i was doing like separation of naphthalene from the pyrolysis fuel oil i worked for 3 months and i did not get result i i used like 20 or 30 solvents several cold or high heat or evaporation methods and i did not get result so once night i thought oh, i will try the cold method and once i put the material in the fridge and morning i check so i got the crystal so basically it's a long process sometimes you get the result accidentally or it's a throat process is long continuous process you will fail several times but if you are doing if you will do continuously you will definitely get the results
Alfaz Solank is saying, can you tell me about the renewable, renewable energy projects are currently active? Currently, the most renewable project are, India is working on the solar energy. They are making the flexible solar cell and the conventional solar cell because now the solar cell is giving like around 18% to 25% is activity out of 100%. So we are working the most efficient project is the solar cell, wind energy and the energy storage of oxygen gas, nitrogen, ethylene, carbon dioxide. These are the very good field of the renewable energy, especially the solar cell is good. And now people are working on the flexible solar cell. You can put in your car, you can put in your building and you can change the direction according to the sunlight. So flexible solar cell is the very good topic for the renewable energy. One Ram Ulva is asking, sir, can you suggest me about the literature, sir? Will you please provide some good journal for student to begin? So for student, you have to go for the science direct is the very good. And you just simple, you just start reading with the simple journals, like simple chemistry journals, like organic synthesis journals, like journal of organic chemistry. And first you choose a simple journal, a simple paper, which have the simple scheme. So you can easily understand the phenomena. Once you understand that simple phenomena, then you go for the higher complex paper. So basically you can go to the science direct website and you can find several journals available. But you choose start with the beginner level with journal having the simple language or simple scheme. So first, if you will directly see the hard paper or some kind of complex manuscript, then you you will you will not be uh, interested in that particular field so your interest will go on so first she start start with the simple paper simple scheme and then you will have an idea for the better publications no no you be bhargav desani is asking if someone is funding and if we do not get the desired result we have to give the fund back no it's like some kind of agreement between the funding agency and institute we do not have to give the fund back but they give certain time lines one year you have to get that particular result if one year you will not get that particular result they will stop the funding right they will not we have to not we do not have to give back but they follow certain criteria they need result in that particular time period if you project is for five year one year you have to give synthesis next year you have to give characterization or application third year you have to give the another compound so they, you have to follow the year wise plan if you are not succeed in that year wise plan they will stop the funding agency will stop the funding how many minimum time how much time required for the phd actually generally phd duration depends on the university advisor on your completion of your research basic time is three years three years to five years is the general time you can complete the phd so now there is no questions so i will wrap up this presentation if you have any further question my email id is given you can directly call me or message me or email me i will try to solve the queries thank you very much for all